Hey everybody, it's uh, Jim Richards, your abstract expressionist artist, neon pop artist. Uh, I just wanted to show you, I'm standing on Canadian soil right now, overlooking the Detroit River, which on the other side of the river is Detroit, Michigan, USA. And on this side of the river is Windsor, Ontario, Canada. So it's very, very close to the U.S. border. And right behind me, I have the Caesars Casino, uh, which is a big casino here in Windsor, Ontario. And this is, now I'm standing in Canada. So a very unique um, a position uh, I'm standing in because I'm right here basically at the border of United States and Canada and I wanted to show this to you it's a beautiful sunny day I stepped out of the studio today and I wanted to show you how close um, these two countries are with this river and the reason why I wanted to show this to you is to show you how I as an artist get a lot of my influence from um, being a Canadian, uh, being born in Windsor, I spent a lot of time in Toronto, but being brought up in Windsor, I had seen a lot of American television, uh, a lot of American um, culture uh, on our TV sets here, and we were very heavily influenced by not only uh, Detroit uh, TV, but uh, you know television from the United States. So uh, Detroit being a large city, Windsor is around 220,000. In, in here in Canada and um, I used to travel to Detroit a lot and you know I'd get a lot of my inspiration from Detroit it was known as a very kind of uh, you know uh, uh, tough city motor city um, and uh, you know crime and things like that but in actuality it's quite a hidden gem because there's a lot of artistic talent in Detroit a lot of important artists came from Detroit uh, there is not only you know crime in Detroit, but then there's also a lot of artists and a lot of people making a difference uh, in that city, and especially with street art and graffiti and uh, alleys being painted with um, you know murals, uh, graffiti type murals and things like that. So I got a lot of my influences from Detroit. Um, as a Canadian artist, you know um, a lot of Canadian art is landscapes and uh, you know very typical kind of things you know you'd see polar bears in our art you'd see hockey you'd see various other things too but we kind of got you know uh, it was very kind of stereotypical of a Canadian artist or Canadian painting and I wanted to branch away from that and I didn't really want to be um, you know a Canadian artist per se I just wanted to be my own artist and do what I do and I think a lot of my influences came from Detroit the bold colors I use the the street art kind of graffiti type of look but yeah pop art uh, very much almost kind of Warhol Peter Max in colors uh, you know Jackson Pollock with his drips and you know th this type of influence heavily uh, you know based what I do my art on and, and what it looks like and, and what I feel inside and I want to share that with with everyone out there on where I am positioned in and what influences me in my paintings um, because I am so close to the the US border um, so yeah it's a beautiful sunny day and uh, again I just wanted to pan over to show you from the Canadian side I'm standing on in Windsor Ontario Canada to literally probably a mile across the river uh, there is the United States and that's the famous Renaissance Center uh, in Detroit Michigan and Detroit uh, is, is, is a large city it's quite a few million people um, and there is the the riverfront of Detroit so um, yeah glad uh, I could uh, show you this it's an important day actually here in Canada it's Canada Day it's July 1st 2019 so I thought it'd come out here and uh, just give you a glimpse of what uh, Canada is uh, is like and where Windsor Ontario is positioned and we have the beautiful Canadian flag quite a large one in the background uh, really blowing beautifully here for Canada Day and uh, it's uh, it's a holiday here in Canada uh, July 1st 2019 so you can see that I believe there's a little bit of a festival um, being held over there too. So uh, yeah, either way, uh, great for uh, for coming out, stepping out of the studio from being covered in paint to uh, getting some sunshine and showing you this very, um, uh, I guess, important dividing line 
uh, that I live in and uh, what kind of has a you know a big inspiration in a lot of my pieces so uh, glad I can show this to you and uh, happy Canada Day